I declare, whenever I speak Jesus, there is life. I speak Jesus, declaring there is life in Him. I want to thank God for safety, life, and making me see a brand new day like this. I want to thank God for making me come in the midst of wonderful people of God. I like to speak Jesus. Early before, when I was younger, I used to think that life is not that precious. I don't value life as what I am now today. I was grow up in a strong Buddhist family. At that time, I was believed if I'm doing good, my life will be blessed. But no, it's what opposite. I still feel bad about myself. I feel worthless. I feel rejected. And my family still had so many problems. I experienced a life-threatening situation back in 2009. And that point in my life, I feared my life would end because of the severe agony in my stomach. In 2010, I recall that my wife, Sister Buenavi, was about to give birth to my second son. I remember that I was so excited during that time, but little did I know that that excitement turned out to be one of the most excruciating moments in my life. Last July, I felt a bump on my neck, and because of my anxieties, my fears, uncertainties, sleepless nights followed. During my time, I feel that death is always near, waiting for us. It's only around. Back to 2018, my family was struggling with the financial issue. My husband's business went bankrupt. We lost the house, we lost everything. Pastor Chris was employed at BDF, and he sent me there. When they discovered that my appendicitis had burst, they decided to operate. And we all assumed that everything would be fine. But after a month, I began to have back pain whenever I inhaled deeply, and it felt as though something had burst in my liver. They found out that my liver had abscess due to what happened in my appendix. So they placed a tube through my skin into a liver to drain the abscess without even anesthesia. The delight in my face with the prospect of welcoming my second born changed to a feeling of despair as uncertainty arose on the lives of my wife and my then unborn child. It turned out that my wife had an induced pancreatitis, which had put the baby's delivery at risk. The hospital where we originally booked for my wife's delivery also confessed that they cannot handle my wife's special case and it had to transfer her by an ambulance to a government hospital. There was so many fear, so many worries, na baka kung ano po ang mga may mangyari sa akin during those procedures that they will do. I used to be a housewife, but that time I have to go out to work. I was living day by day like a robot. In, in my life, I always experience like a, I go to hospitals because I feel sick. And uh, from that point in my life, I feel uh, I'm ready to die. I'm afraid of dying, but I'm always like to, told myself, if I'm taken today, I, I don't care. Like I don't value life that much anymore because almost every day, every night, I, I will get injected by many painkillers and they will take my blood test. And I said, if I die today, okay, so be it. Let, let me die. I could probably say that that was the first time in my life wherein I absolutely did not know what to do and was at a loss. But then again, it is during such trying times when we feel we are downtrodden and almost to the point of absolute devastation and despair that we truly witness the power of the Almighty God, Jesus Christ. I was lost. I didn't know what to do about my life, so I accept the Lord Jesus Christ to be my Lord and my Savior. No medication, no operation. After all, I realize how truly blessed I am that God give us life. Indeed, God makes wonderful and miraculous way in my life. That's when I got out and after I got married, things got a little more clear to me that I have someone to live for now. Not only because of my wife, it's just that I remember who introduced me and who she introduced. It was Jesus. At that very first moment, I feel peaceful. I feel loved. I feel accepted. I feel worthy. I feel there is hope, there is light, there is future for me. God loves me and He has plans for me. I start to pray and God answered my prayer. And lo and behold, 
on November 17, 2010, my wife gave birth to my loving and wonderful son, and I named him Miguel, after the Archangel of the Lord. After three days, I began to feel better. Not as a result of the surgery or other procedure I had undergone, but rather because we speak the name of Jesus. This is why I am still alive and well today, thanking and worshiping the one living and true Jesus Christ. Now I will learn to cherish my life. I'm starting to realize that we have to take care of our lives because it is given to us that privilege, that bread from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My family moved to Bahrain for a new job and I was attend to GCM church and start the Bible study class. The people in the church, they are so kind. They are like my family. I feel loved and worthy in the family of God and His kingdom. God gave me a new life. Everything getting better and better. Now my parents and my family became Christian because they have seen my life change. We are serving God at the local church in our town. I'm not living like a robot anymore, but I am alive. Day by day, I walk with God, my relationship getting stronger and stronger. He also gave me a ministry to share the word of God to my Thai friend in the UK. And so many people got saved. I have seen so many people life transform to the work of God. Life is precious, life is valuable, and life is Jesus. During these present times, we may be in a dark tunnel, my brothers and sisters in Christ. But by God's mercy and grace, as we continue in our incredible journey called life, I promise you, as long as you hold on to the faith and trust in our Lord Jesus, we will see that light at the end of the tunnel. Truly, I witness and testify that Jesus is life. I am so happy today to declare Jesus Christ is the Lord. His name is life. I speak Jesus. Therefore, I declare that there is life in Him, and I speak Jesus. To God be all the glory. I am proud to speak the name of Jesus. He is my Savior and He is my life bringer. There is life in Jesus' name. To God be the glory.